Recorded live. All right, Leslie, this is uh, Joshua, and this is uh, Leslie. I got a phone call from Leslie about five minutes ago, and she was really excited about something, and I wanted to capture that excitement. So we're going to pretend that she just called me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Leslie, Leslie, what did you just call to share with me? Well, I called to share with you my first week of success under your fitness coaching. And cool. while I haven't undergone the full exercise program, I have begun to work on my nutrition. Okay, so let's outline number one, what is our full what does the full program look like? What do we outline? Well, the full program incorporates uh nutrition that builds lean muscle that is capped at twelve hundred calories a day with the goal of two pounds weight loss a week. Four times a week, we do P90X as my workout for at least 30 minutes. Cool. So we are looking to build lean muscle, take off weight and body fat completely. Wait, what else did we put on that program? We are putting on hydration, 64 ounces of water a day. Cool. My mid-morning snack is a wonderful, healthy, protein-rich, vitamin-rich, nutrient-rich, Shakeology we each spoke quality. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely yeah. love psychology. I love it. Oh, amazing. Good. Uh, all right. So that was the, that's the full program. And, and right now, you don't have your P90X. So what right. have you done over the last? What have you done over the last week that got you this? Was it four and a half pound loss? Yes, I got you a four and a half pound loss, and it wasn't even within a week. It was with in five days. Uh, sticking to my nutrition plan for breakfast, mid-morning snack, and lunch, and my hydration goals. And so within one week, I saw four and a half pound loss and 1% body fat off as well. That's awesome. Now, you you mentioned on the call that you had um, started feeling yourself getting hungry. Yes. Beforehand, I wasn't feeling any sort of hunger pangs throughout the day, so I didn't really eat very frequently. Um, I definitely wasn't eating any snacks, and my meals were probably too large or maybe even too small when they occurred. Um, Mm -hmm. But now that I'm more consistently eating throughout the day, every two and a half, three hours, and I'm eating the right combinations of foods, I'm getting hungry, and my metabolism has started to work. Fantastic. Now, you also uh, called to talk to me about can I uh, can I put beans and um, lentils in place of protein? What I tell you? Yes. Well, since I'm vegetarian, you know, sometimes I want to have my beans and lentils as my protein. And when I asked you if I could substitute that for any of my eggs or my soy products or even chicken that I didn't want to have, you said, no, no, watch out. Even though it's high-protein food, that is a carbohydrate. So, right. so I yeah, know it's people... out of my carbohydrate category. Right. A lot of people misunderstand, well, pr- peanut butter has um, protein in it. Yeah, it does, but it's trace amount. It's primarily fat and beans and legumes and those kind of things. Yes, they do have protein, um, but they are primarily carbohydrates. And so we need to really focus on those foods that are dense for the kind of macronutrient that we need. So we need protein-dense foods, um, fat-dense foods, carbohydrate-dense foods, et cetera. So sounds like we've got some learning going on as well, which is yielding some awesome results, and I cannot wait to see where you are like a week or two down uh, the road with P90X. It'll be awesome. Me too. Yeah. Okay, so um, again, reminder, take that before photo. Take it now. I'm doing take it. it now. Take it now. Okay, cool. Well, Leslie, thanks for sharing this, and um, and I look forward to uh, the next check-in we have. Me too. Thanks for the journey. Right. Thanks for all your all help. Right. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.